all right, let's stop faffing. Good um, idea. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a song to start, which I thought was, was suitable for these times, um, uh, which I used to sing with, uh, with the Eurydice, uh, Eurydice Socialist Women's Choir in Glasgow. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully it uh, is appropriate for this, these times and this evening. <clears throat> and it's got a chorus, we know the chorus, please join in. We are well met, my friends, in this place tonight. Though some of us are strangers to each other. The many paths that led us here will mingle and unite as we all walk down their same road together. And so when the music starts, open up your heart, let it soar like a lark in early morning. Sorrow, pain or fear, tonight have no place here. They shall all soon disappear in the sound of singing. This crowded world we live in gives us little time or choice. Small simple dreams are often derided, but tonight we shall sing in a common human voice. Tonight we shall not be divided, and so when the music starts, open up your heart, let it soar like a lark in early morning. Sorrow, pain, or fear, tonight have no place here. They shall all soon disappear in the sound of singing. Lovely. <laughs> it's got another. It's got another verse which is very good. Uh, it's so strange singing to a panel like this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll, like, yeah. leave it, I'll leave it there. That was to open. Now, who's got their hand up? Has anyone got their hand up? Uh, I can do one if you like. Oh, Neil, you've got your hand. You're at the top of the list, Neil. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm no. Uh, so I'm going to switch your hand off now. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. So in the meantime, I shall have a go at Creeping Jane. Mm. <clears throat> I'll sing you a song. A very pretty one concerning Creeping Jane, oh. Why she never saw a mare or a gelding in her life that she valued to the worth of half a pin. Love her day, oh. A diddle of the day, oh. No, she never saw a mare or a gelding in that she valued no, 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 and creeping Jane to the race course came the gentlemen giggled all around her but all they had to say concerning little Jane is she's not able for to travel all the ground the diddle of the day, yeah. and all they had to say, he's not able to travel all the ground. Now, when they came to the first mile post, Creeping Jane was way behind them, but the rider shared his spared his whip, lent right around her neck. And he said, me little darling, never mind. Allow the day, oh, the diddle of the day. The rider spared his whip, lent her right around her neck. And he said, me little darling, never mind. But when they came to the third mile post, creeping Jane, no, I don't know. When they came, yeah. said, Man, yeah, Creeping Jane was blithe and fair, oh. And then she lifted up <coughs> her lily white feet, and she flew past them all like a dot. Love the day, oh. The diddle of the day, oh. 
And then she lifted up her little lily white feet, and she flew past them all like a dark cloud of day. <clears throat> now, creeping Jane, this race has won, and scarcely sweat one drop. Oh, while she's able for to gallop the ground o'er again, while the others are not able for to trot, loud the day, oh. The diddle of the day, oh. She's able for to gallop the ground o'er again, while the others are not able for to trot, loud the day. But now creeping Jane is dead and gone, her body lies on cold ground, oh. I'll go down to her owner, one favour for to beg. That's to keep her little body from the hands. Lull the day, oh. The diddle of the day, oh. I'll go down to her owner, one favour for to beg. That's to keep her little body from the hands. Lull the day. Well done. Thank you, Neil. D despite despite a considerable considerable um, odds there uh, with the technology, uh, it clearly, sadly, the choruses don't really work, no. um, which is a shame. And I think uh, you're right. If I can mute everybody apart from the singer, then uh, <laughs> I think that is going to work better. So I'm going to put Riggy's up next. Um, so, uh, okay. I'm just gonna don't start until I'm sure that I've got you. Uh, I've muted everybody. Uh, current and new participants will be muted. Yes, and I'm gonna going ask, anyway. Uh, I think I've I think I've succeeded in that. Yeah, and I'll just mute myself as well, and you're good to go, Riggy. Okay, I hope everyone will it. sing, even though you're... We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace. We shall live in peace someday. In my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. We are not afraid, we are not afraid, we are not afraid. Today, oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. We shall overcome. We shall overcome, we overcome someday. Deep in my heart, I that we shall overcome. We know where you went, Rebecca. We do. 
<laughs> and what are you drinking, by the way? <laughs> ah. <laughs> better than I Italian. <laughs> Summer fruit cordials. Very boring, this. I've got spirit of Kent. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Cider. It's not beer o'clock yet here in California. <laughs> Amanda, you're muted. <laughs> We're learning to lip read here. Oh, okay, I unmuted everybody, but oh, that doesn't include me. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm drinking Kentish ale, as you probably saw. So anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to go with the order that people appear um, with their hand up on my screen. So the next singer is going to be Kathy. And by the way, it's if you're um, if you switch to speaker view, then Kathy will be on on the screen. Uh, uh, the big oh, screen. Out. So if you're not on that already, do where that. do I find that's probably view? the best? The best option. Top right of your screen, if you hover your mouse. Yeah. Gallery view. Yeah. Yes, gallery view is what you want for, for the, if you go to gallery view, I imagine you'll see the singer. If you go for speaker yeah. view, you see everybody. Or yeah, I think, I think oh. it's actually that you... Oh, it's the other way around, yeah. yeah. And you're changing to that, I'm not sure. It's a little bit confusing. Anyway, okay. change it till it looks the way you want it. Everywhere. Yeah. Kathy? Okay. If you, Kathy, if you move back a little, you'll be more in focus. Yeah. Ah. better? Nope. <laughs> Maybe you're... Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Kathy, I'm going to um, mute everybody and then unmute you and you're good to go. Not got a chorus, but you'll know it, so sing along with it. Sally, free and easy, that should be her name. Dally, free and easy, that should be her name. Took a sailor's loving for a mercy came. Well, the heart she gave me was not made of stone. No, the heart she gave me was not made of stone. It was sweet and cold, like a honeycomb. Think our way to sunset. See the end sign down. Yes, I'll wait to sunset. See the end sign down. Then I'll take the tide way. To my burying ground, Sally, free and easy. That should be her name. Sally, free and easy. That should be her name. When my body's landed, hope she dies of shame. That was lovely. That was in A flat, by the way. Is it? Who knew I was in A flat? <laughs> okay, Martin is up next. Martin, are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Okay, I'm just going to mute everybody and unmute you and you'll be good to go.
you've disappeared. Ah, you dropped down. Okay. Right, so that looks me. Am I? Can you hear me? Good. <laughs> right. Yes, it's it's slightly confusing. Also, the list of participants is obvious. My the list of participants I can see is obviously in a different order from the one that you can see. So that's uh. So it's not clear when you're coming up next. But never mind. The MC is always right. Yay, yay, rambling boys of. Hmm. Yay, rambling boys of pleasure, come listen unto these few lines I write. I alone, I've been a robber, and in rambling I take great delight. I set my heart all on a handsome young girl who so many times did me slight that my mind was never easy except when my true love was in my side. It was down in Sally's garden where me and my true love did me. I caught her in my arms, and there I gave to her kisses sweet. She bade me take love easy, just like a leaf rolls on a tree. Oh, but I was young and foolish then, and with my true love could not agree. The next time me and my love met, I really thought that her heart was mine. But as the weather altered, my darling girl soon changed her mind. Gold is the root of all evil. It shines with great alluring hue, causing many's the lad and last to part. Though their hearts like mine be never so true. Oh, I wish I was in old Camden Town with my true love sat down alongside of me. And money in now a pocket to keep us in good company. And lots of liquor plentiful, a flowing jug at every side. 
for fortune can never daunt me. While I am young and the world is wide. Good. Thank you, Martin. Simon is up next. Hi. Okay. Oh, oh, so Rebecca's run out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I allowed to play guitar? Yeah, go for it. It's, go for it. This You're is on. A, this is weird. I've got a concertine going upstairs playing a different <clears throat> tune. Sorry, I muted everybody by mistake, including you, Simon. I have to go and find you. It's all right. I hadn't started yet. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Just you as are well. unmuted by host. I see it says that. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Very appropriate as well. I, th I think the folk repertoire is, is ideally made for these times, isn't it? Um, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's actually one could sharpen it up for these times, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Rebecca, you're up next. So she is she still Yeah, oh she's yeah, she's escaped but is coming back. Woo! Yeah. Amongst other things, Rebecca brings the average age of this group down by about five years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sad indictment, really. <laughs> That's last five. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I was just going to mute everyone and then bring, bring you back in. I've, I've been um, mucking about with... Um... Oh, no, ah, no, ah, no, no, wait, 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 wait. 
I see that, yeah. Okay. I'm on now. I've been yeah, you're on now. With the uh, audio settings for Zoom. See if I can make it sound any better. Um, I, it might do, it might not. I'm not entirely sure, but um, we'll see. Um, this is, funnily enough, um, another song that I've nicked off my dad, Clive. Um, I don't know, I haven't heard him do this at Sharps. Oh, am I too quiet? Am I? No, I'm not too quiet. Oh, oh, Simon thinks I'm too quiet. Right. Uh, is that okay? Is that better? Great. Okay. Now this is going to be so loud now. <laughs> um, uh, so, so I don't know if my dad used to do this song at Sharps because I've not heard him do it there. But I've got it. He might have done. So you might know it. Um, but I've just got it off a recording that I found of him. And, and I actually remember him playing it in the kitchen when I was a kid. Um, uh, so I've kind of half nicked his arrangement and sort of tried to fill in the gaps. I well, fill in one hand at least anyway. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> His own heart's delight As soon as she saw it The writing she knew Was of her own true love On the mountains of Soldiers go climbing the wall For they dare not touch us With their cannonball The shots from our batteries Like grape shot they fell Killed hundreds of Frenchmen on the mountains of June. To see us young soldiers all along the wall's side, for they dare not touch us, for God was our Yeah. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> I thought Dad, Dad used, did used to sing it at Sharps. Who was your dad? Clive. Clive Wolf. Clive. I just realised that when you when you um, when you said that, and I was like, oh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize before. Okay. Pow, you're up next. Right, okay. Yeah. Just a second while I do the muting thing. That should be you. Huh? You should be ready to go. Okay. My sound quality on here is really poor, but I don't know how everybody else's is doing. But anyway, here we go. I lived in service in Rosemary Lane. And I had the goodwill of my master and dame. Till a sailor came by one night for to lay, and that was the beginning of my misery. He called for a candle to light him to bed, likewise a silk handkerchief to tie up his head, to tie round his head as the sailors will do. Says he, busy Polly, will you come to bed too? Well, being young and foolish, I thought it no harm to jump into bed for to keep myself warm. And what happened next, I will never declare. But I wish that short night had been seven long years. Early next morning, the sailor arose, and into her lap he threw handfuls of gold, saying, this I will give, up, and much more will I do, if you'll be my Polly wherever I go. And when your baby's born, you shall put it to nurse. And sit like a lady with gold in your purse, with gold in your purse and milk in your breast, saying that's what you get by a sailor in the west. And if it's a boy, he shall fight for his king. And if it's a girl, she shall wear the gold ring. She shall wear the gold ring and her top knot shall blow, saying that's what you get by your sailor true blue. I lived in service in Rosemary Lane, and I had the goodwill of my master and dame, till a sailor came by one night for to lay. And that was the beginning of my misery. Thank you, Paul. We have, um, nobody else has got their hand up, but I don't believe that Alison doesn't want to sing. Oh, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you had your hand up at one point and then you, you took it off and uh, it stayed off. So, yeah, you are, okay. it's, it's you next. Okay, all right. <clears throat> you, that's you, fire away. An old merchant near London did dwell. He had a fine daughter, he loved her quite well. She was pretty and witty, could not be excelled. And her husband, he was a false trooper. Bow the diddle hey, riddle hey, riddle hey. Bow the diddle hey, he riddle addy, I ho. There was an old tailor that lived nearby. On this pretty damsel he soon cast his eye For guineas I'll pay for me lodgings tonight If your husband is bound to stand duty Bow the diddle hey, riddle hey, riddle hey Bow the diddle hey, riddle addy, I ho The old trooper went out and that before long They went up to bed and began for to fun They went up to bed and began for to fun And never since thought of the trooper Bow the diddle hey, riddle hey, riddle hey Bow the diddle hey, riddle laddie, i ho The old trooper came home in the dead 
fair of night. Knocked at the door, which gave them great fright. Hide me, oh, hide me, the tailor, he cried, for I hear the bold rap of the trooper. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, I o. There is the no cover behind the room door. There you may hide, for safe and secure. I'll go downstairs and I'll open the door and I'll welcome me husband the trooper. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, hi ho. She went downstairs and she let him in. With kisses and compliments she did begin. For oh, your kisses and compliments, I don't care a pin. But light me a fire, said the trooper. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, hi ho. I have no fire, no, no fire stuffs. So come up to bed where we'll be warm enough. There is an old cupboard behind the room door. I'll burn it tonight, said the trooper. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, hi ho. Husband, oh husband, it is my desire that useless old cupboard to get for the fire. Besides, there I do keep my game cock. I admire. Show me a game cock, said the trooper. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, hi ho. He went upstairs and he opened the door. There found the tailor safe and secure. He gave him a hoax to the middle of the floor. Is this your game cock, said the trooper. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, hi ho. He asked for the setters, he asked for the shears. He snipped off the top of the poor tailor's ears. He gave him a kick and a shove and a blow. And away went the poor croppy tailor. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, hey, riddle, hey. Bow the diddle, hey, riddle, laddy, hi ho. Thank you. You're muted, Amanda. <laughs> Keep forgetting this. It's what you've been wanting for years, I know. <laughs> I last saw you singing that song uh, while um, while you were searching for a bunch of keys. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I never got to the end of it, though. No, no, but you did find the keys, so yeah, anyway. Um, okay, nobody else has got their hand up. Richard's got to be first first up since he uh, um, has just joined us uh, well, on audio. And otherwise, I reckon you should just stick your hands up as you did before and we'll see what order you turn up in. <laughs> well, now, um, I was thinking about playing a tune. Have you got an instrument to play a tune on? I've got <laughs> Okay, <laughs> go for it. Okay, um, I'll give you the nod uh, once I've uh, muted yeah. everybody, okay? And I just need to find you and unmute you, Richard. Unmute, Richard. And you should be good to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. That was beautiful. I'm very good sound, actually. Yeah. Superb. Well, I've got a, a test cam, the thing be handheld recorder normally, with its line output feeding into my computer by a complicated arrangement. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I, you know, I something. I'm uh, Simon is up yet next. I'm getting fed up muting and unmuting everybody all the time. I think can can you mute yourselves? Yes. Can you see that? Are you are you happy to to just do that? And uh, people have been um, asking me that for years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Down the bottom corner, I see mute, and I will do it. Yeah. So if if you do that when if. Every, Everyone does that when someone is is performing and then uh, comes brings them, themselves back on when they want to clap or heckle <laughs> or um, or speak <laughs> in between. Okay, so fire away. Uh, I haven't done this for a while, but this is a, a musical song, a Billy Bennett song. Um, I'll I'll give you his introduction because it's um, it's an essential part of the song. It this song was written by one of the greatest poets that ever lived and shortly after I'd completed it I was performing it in Dublin and a member of the audience was so moved by the pathos that he tried to shoot himself and the bullet went right past my ear. I'm cherishing a secret in my bosom about this dreadful stage life that I lead. I've heard it said that pros are decent people but according to the papers that I read both actresses and actors are dead wrongers, whether from the palace or the hippodrome. The folks I meet outside know I'm an actor, but I never breathe a word of it at home. So me mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. It would break her poor dear heart if she found out. She knows I'm a deserter from the Scottish Fusiliers. She knows I stole a blind man's can, that got me seven years. She knows I've been connected with a gang of West End pests, and the police have had me twice inside the cage. She knows that I mix with ladies that have got a shady past, but my mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. Sometimes she sees the powder on me clothing, and then it's such a nuisance to explain. If she thought it was powder, she'd go crazy. So of course I have to tell her it's cocaine. The night she saw me out with Gladys Cooper, she started screaming murder and police and would have caused a dreadful scene in public. So I told her that the girl was Crippin's niece. Now me mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. And when I draw 600 pounds a week, if she knew where I'd got it, she'd shoot me like a dog. So I say I stole the money box from an Irish synagogue. She can think that I'm a murderer before she knows the truth. I have to have respect for her old age. She knows that I'm a bigamist, a blackguard and a crook. But my mother doesn't know I'm on the stage. <laughs> That's fabulous. <laughs> Who is showing next? The tombola has rolled, and it is Kathy. Kathy, you ready? Everyone, mute yourselves. Another old favourite that you'll all know can join in with, and uh, Martin, I like your final verse of this at some point. The time passes over. More cheerful and gay Since we've learnt a new act To drive sorrows away Sorrows away Sorrows away Sorrows away since we've learnt a new act to drive sorrows away. Right Phoebe arises so high in the sky with her red rosy cheeks and her 
Thank you, Cathy. Martin, you're up next. So if you want to, you can start with the final verse, verse that Cathy wants. Otherwise, just fire away when and where you're, you're ready. I can't remember, can't remember where I got it from, this, this verse. Um, if, you, if you ask for my credit card, you'll find I have nine. But they, am I am I coming through? Am I unmuting myself? I have it. Uh, if you ask for my credit card, you'll find I have nine. But they are all maxed out most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time. Time, but they are all maxed out most of the time. I don't, I don't know who, who, who wrote that. Someone in America, I think. But, I mean, it's actually the young coppers have actually adopted that verse and they, they sing it sometimes. Excellent. Right. So... Oh, well, I'll sing another, I'll sing a, a different song from the couple. Anyway. <laughs> it was down in Cupid's garden I wandered for to view The sweet and lovely flowers that in the garden grow and one was lovely jasmine, the lily pink and rose. These are the finest flowers that in the garden grow, that in the garden grow. I had not been in the garden but scarcely half an hour when I beheld two pretty fair mates sitting under a shady bower. And one was lovely Nancy, so beautiful and fair. The other was a virgin and did the laurel wear, and did the laurel wear. 
I boldly stepped up to the his maid and unto her did say, Are you engaged to any young man? Come tell to me, I pray. No, I'm not engaged to any young man. I vow and I declare. I mean to stay a virgin and still the laurel wear and still the laurel wear. So it's down it's arm in arm together this loving couple went to view the secrets of her heart was the sailor's full intent, or whether she would slide him when he to the wars did go. Her answer was, not I, my love, for I love my sailor so, I love my sailor so. It's down in Portsmouth Harbour, our ship lies waiting there. Tomorrow to the seas we must go if the wind blows high or fair. And if I should live to return again, how happy I should be with you, my love. My own sweet love sat smiling on my knee, sat smiling on my knee. Give it Who is next? Alison Frosdick, you are up next. So, um, anyway, here we go. I wish I was on yonder hill Tis there I'd sit and cry my fill And every tear would turn a mill It's good day to my worthy I'll sell my rope, I'll sell my wheel, I'll sell my only spinning wheel to buy my love a sword of steel. It's good day to my warning floor. I'll dye my petticoats, I'll dye them red, and round the world I'll beg my bread, until my devil shall wish us dead. It's good day to my warning, Lord. But now my love has gone to France to try his fortune to advance. If he had come back, tis but a chance. It's good day to my warning shoo, 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 shoo,
Shugo sakaro ga shumu go kyun. Shugo dara so ga se le eklam. Ish good day to mo wan in shlo. Ish good day to mo wan in shlo. That was beautiful. Amazing. Gorgeous. <laughs> Lovely. Good guitaring. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Is that your first guitar performance? Um, I tried it at Sharps ages ago, oh. um, but I've kind of been, you know, practicing a bit more since then. So it's, uh, yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Great. you. Great. <laughs> Um, Neil is uh, is up next. So Neil, when you're ready, everybody else, please mute, mute yourself. We can tell, you know, if if you haven't muted yourself, because because suddenly you turn up on the screen. <laughs> um, right, I'll, I'm not muted. Um, I was going to sing "Rare Old Times," having not been able to get to a folk club on the 17th of March. Um, so this is a Pete St. John song. Can you hear me? Hey, yeah, or at least somebody's, it's a blank face on my screen. It's the, that's usually Amanda. Um, <laughs> praised on songs and stories, heroes of renown, the, the passing tales and glories that once was Dublin town. The hallowed halls, the houses, the haunting children's rhymes. A part of once of Dublin City in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy, as the light declines. I'll remember Dublin City in the rare old times. My name is Miss Sean Dempsey, as Dublin as you please. Rode hard and late in Pimlico, in a house that ceased to be. By trade I was a cooper, lost out to redundancy. Like my home that fell to progress, my trade's a memory. I courted Peggy Dyer, as pretty as you please, a rose and child of Mary, and the rebel liberties. I lost her to a student chap, with skin as black as coal, when he took her back to Birmingham, she took away my soul. Ring a ring a rosy, as the light declines, I remember Dublin City in the rare old times. Now the years have made me bitter, the goggle dims my brain, and Dublin keeps on changing, and nothing seems the same. The pillar and the mat have gone. Royal long since pulled down, and this grey unyielding concrete makes a city of my town. Fare thee well, sweet Anna Liffey. I can no longer stay and watch these cold glass cages spring up along my key. My mind's too full of memories. Too old to learn new chimes. I am a part of what was Dublin in the rare old times. Ring a ring a rosy as the light declines. I'll remember Dublin City in the rare old times. Hey, thank you. That was very nice. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. And I, and I heard it accompanied too because I was playing along. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Singing in C, by the way. 
I, was I in C all the oh, way through? <laughs> it's, it's nice actually singing along, even though you can't hear other people, because at least you're singing with the performer. That's true. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I tried one or two to see what key we, people were in, but one of them was almost D, but not quite. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's I, move I, on I, from yeah. that. We all, we all sing in perfect pitch. <laughs> I, I, I had a bad moment early on because... I, I had um, Amanda on screen, but the screen had frozen. I was, I was singing to non-response at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not very responsive sometimes, but you, know. you, you grin. I do. I do. I get quite used to it. <laughs> okay, Rebecca, you're up next. Are you ready to go? I'm going to represent my dad again. Um... Um, I, when all of this online stuff sort of burst out within the last few days, I just thought how wonderful it would be if I could get him online. But I just don't think I'm going to be able to talk him through it on the phone because I don't even know if his iPad has got a late enough operating system or if he can even remember how to charge it up and turn it on. Um, maybe I could, I need to try and sort that out because this would just be wonderful if I could just call him up 15 minutes in advance and get him ready. <laughs> it would probably take a while. So I, I do intend to do that if this continues for a while. I will do my best. I've, I've been wishing he could be listening to this lot. Yeah. Um, it's obviously what I would normally do is go around and see him and sort it out, but I can't even do that. But he, his care is going every day. So maybe she might be able to help. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I did. I did. This is my dad's song. Another one of my dad's songs. This is his arrangement. I've done it. I did it with him at Sharps, and he sang it, and it was just one of the happiest moments of my entire life. I absolutely loved it. It was really, really great. Um, and I think I might have done it there once before. Um, it's also going to be on our EP that's coming out we were gonna well coming out we're gonna put it on the internet basically um uh so uh this is the emigrant i know you've probably heard it a thousand times sorry it's probably really boring now Give and 
your honest eye which paths to drive his family to the road to beg to starve for meat so I stood up with heart in hand and sold my little plot of land that's the reason boys you'll understand poor Pat Stemic Grace Very good Very good That was great that yeah. was great. Very far from boring. <laughs> That's the same. Did that come before the Black Leg Miner? I mean, one of the tunes. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Probably not. I, I, I only know one other version like that, and I think my it's Frank Hart. Uh huh. I think he. I think he does that song in that with that Black Leg Miner tune. Um. It's and not I, quite the same as Black Lead and Minor, but it's almost. Yeah. yeah. I think my dad learned it from him. Okay. That's, that's all I know. I think your dad got it from, I mean, Cecil Sharp collected it. From okay. An Irish man in the Malibu workhouse. Oh, that's it. No, he says that on his, on his thing that Richard right. recorded. Yes. From I, I, was, uh, I was just saying, I've, I've actually got Clive on the phone at the moment. So he, oh. he heard, I only rang him quickly after you started singing, <laughs> and he oh. was able to hear most of it. Excellent. And he oh. said, if, if it wasn't his women singing, he thought it might have been himself. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got is him on still, the phone. Is he still on the phone? Hi, Dad. I'll put him... That is enormous. <laughs> That's en what's enormous? That uh, was congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> if that, as, I, as I said to Richard just now, if I if I didn't, if if it weren't for, a, for the fact it was a woman singing, it could be me. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you didn't mention the playing. <laughs> Sorry. I noticed you didn't mention the playing. <laughs> playing is great. Who's doing the playing? She, um, she, uh, earlier earlier on this evening, she played the concertina. Really? Who Not. Was playing just then. That was me. That was you, was it? Yeah. That, that was her then. It was her concertina earlier on when you, were, when you weren't connected. There's video, evidence. There's video evidence that that was me playing the guitar. Witnesses. <laughs> 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 Let's hope there is. So, Clive, are you going to give us a song? Pardon? Can you give us a song? On the, on the, I can't on the phone. Yes, you yes, can. You can. It's going to be the like quality of the one from the same fella. I'm putting yeah. the, the I'm putting the phone loud speaking close to my microphone. It's a horrible arrangement, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, go for it. It, it works this end. By the way, where are you? We're all in our homes, Dad. We're all we're all isolating. <laughs> right. Um, this is called. No, this is not called at all because I can't <laughs> remember it. Re Re Rebecca sang the mountains of dew earlier on, so don't do that one. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> the mountains of dew. No, oh, I did that already, so you can't do it. <laughs> right. You want to? And you've just done the. You've just done um... the emigrant. The emigrant. What else was the other one that he did? The mountains of dew. No, no, that's that's a, from Sussex. That's a completely different singer. <laughs> what are you, what are you just sing a song, Dad. Just sing a what? song. You sing <laughs> any, any, anything. Right. This is from the same fella. This is from Joseph. Mer I will tell you now the reason. Last night that I came here was in order to obtain certain love of you, my dear. For above all others, the fair ones like you are fine, but few. And that is the very reason I laid my love on you. 
No Paris Jewin or Venus can equal your sweet voice. But if I had my way to choose of you, I'd make my choice. Your bright celestial drums, my consensus, hadn't bereft. What a kiss from you, my darling, wouldn't heal the wounds you gave. You can say you are of noble birth, and I am low degree. But I am of old Adam's seed, my love as well as thee. You said I had no fortune, you didn't slight it, me, therefore. But I have what God provided, it, and I know that you have no more. I will march unto Mount Horneb, where Abraham slew the lamb, and from there unto Mount Ararat, where Noah's ark did stand. I ne'er will stop the roving, while I can wed and reshoe for you like a loyal lover. My dear, I'll mourn for you. That was also collected by Cecil Sharp. Yay, well done. Yay. Have you got that? Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well, I can't hear a word of anyone saying. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, they, they li- they guys. It. it was it. excellent. Good That's time to get the one. parents. Um, in one of the folk music journals. Right. Right. What's happening next? Paul, you've got a hand up. Are you able to, are you going to give it a shot? Because you were saying earlier. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Give it a shot. It's going to be Paul. Do you want to go on listening? Clive, do you want to go on listening? He's got any sense. I'm aware of what's going on. Carry on. Yeah. So are you going to go for it, pal? Yes. Yeah, go for it. We'll see how it works with your connection. Okay. As I rode out one evening fair Over the road in praise of spring I set my back to the hawthorn tree to view the sun in the west country, and the trees in the forest, I spied on open sky, with a maiden on his knee, and he was as dark as the very ground wood. And she away and one to see. Away and one was she. Come sit you down on the grass, he said. On the dewy grass so green. For the wheat birds all have come and gone. Since I, my true love, have seen, he said. Since I, my true love, have seen. Oh, I'll not sit on the grass, she said. Nor be a love of thine. For I've heard you love a carnal girl. And your heart's no longer mine, she said. And your heart's no longer mine. And I'll go climb a high, high tree. And I'll rob a wild bird's nest. And back I'll bring what I find there. To the one that I love best, she said. To the one that I love best. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Thank yeah. you.
thanks, pal. That was um, yeah. The connection was a little bit, a little bit dodgy, but it still came through. If Thank we do you. this again, which I very much hope we will, I shall do it in a different room where the signal's better. Ah, excellent. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. Yeah, you just say you just you you were um kind of um coming and going a bit. Let's see. Yeah, but anyway, um, Riggy has got his hand up. Okay. Yeah, and and then I guess it's Richard. You've not got a hand up, but I, are you going to give? Is, are we going to have another one from you, Richard? After? Oh, don't know. Still He's on gone mute. Enigmatically perhaps. quiet. He has. That's unusual. That's very unusual. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's going. Anyway, right, Riggy, you crack on, and we'll see what happens with Richard. Okay. This is the American uh, "Come All Ye" that we have here. Um, I was I learned it for the concert I was going to give a month from yesterday at the uh, Islington Folk Club. So it's called the Angel Band. If if you know it, please sing along. My latest sun is sinking fast. My race is nearly run. My strongest trials now are past. My triumph is begun. Oh, come, angel band, come and around me stand. Oh, bear me away on your snowy wings to my immortal home. Oh, bear me away on your snowy wings to my mortal home. I know I'm near the holy ranks of friends and kindred dear. I brush the dew on Jordan's banks. The crossing must be near. Oh, come angel band come and around me stand oh bear me away on your snowy wings to my mortal home oh bear me away on your snowy wings to my mortal home I've almost gained my heavenly home, my spirit loudly sings. The holy ones, behold, they come, I hear the rush of wings. Oh, come, angel band, come and around me stand. Oh, bear me away on your snowy wings to my mortal home. Oh, bear me away on your snowy wings to my immortal home. Yeah. It's so good to hear you again, Riggy, because I was thinking we weren't going to hear you at all this year. So, superb. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, we have a late entrant in the form of Rupert, who um, I was, I was like, I saw, uh, uh, you know, you're looking at a screen, tiny little screen about that size. And I was like, oh, is that Rupert? Yes, it is Rupert. So, Rupert, you're on next. Ye shepherds are the best of men that uh, trod English ground. And when we reach the alehouse, we value not one pound. We drink our liquor freely and pay before we go. For there's no L upon the road while the stormy winds do blow. A man who is a shepherd must have a valiant heart. He must not be faint-hearted, but boldly play his part. 
He must not be faint-hearted through rain, hail and rain and snow. For there's no L upon the world while the stormy winds do blow. He must not be faint-hearted through hell or rain or snow. There's no L upon the world while the stormy winds do blow. When I kept sheep on Brockley Hill, it made my heart to weep. To see the ewes hang out their tongues and hear the lambs do bleed. So I <coughs> my courage and oh the hills I go to pen a sheep in the fall. Back in haste to meet some jovial company, some liquor for to taste. Bring all your company, while my sheep lie fast asleep in the fall part of the night. But drink and jovial company. They are my heart's delight, while my sheep lie fast to sleep in the fall part of the night. Missing a bit of drink and jovial company. I thought that song. <laughs> we've got the we got the drink. The drinks for jovial company. <laughs> That's good. Cheers. Thank you. Nice that, or it? jovial isolation. <laughs> well, it's, better than, it's better than miserable isolation, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, Richard, we didn't. Uh, Richard, can you hear us? I can. I can. Are, are you Hang up on. for another one? Oh, I suppose I might. I suppose. Yeah, I'm... go for it. You're on. I, I think that means we've been round everybody apart from um, possibly me. Um, yeah, and then we have to decide what's happening next. Okay, Richard, go for it. Well, very early on, we had a, a horse racing song creeping jane this is a, a much more recent one from down under can i ask you where we are what do you, what do you, what's that, what do you want to know clive where are we're, uh, we're, we're all in cyberspace clive we're, all, we're oh. in cyberspace <laughs> we're on a cloud we're in the ether <laughs> yeah, we're communicating with each other over this wonderful thing called the internet there are, ten, there are ten of us and we're all in our in our own homes um, with with uh, cameras and microphones so we can eat, all see everybody else. Apart from a couple of us who haven't got cameras. Yeah, somebody uh, who hasn't got a camera and we can't see you. Some of us who still live in the, same, in the Stone Age. <laughs> we arrived at Randwick Races in a taxi from Clovelly. I had money in me trousers and schooners in me belly. The bookies saw us coming and they panicked in a crisis. They tinkered with the odds and shortened all their prices to me. Whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle uh -huh. Hunger it was gnawing and thirst was in us rising and the crowd's excited roaring reached a level quite surprising. We swallowed several middies and demolished pies and sauces and set to work comparing prices, jockeys, weights and horses to me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle dee. Dennis Kevin said, We'll go home as rich as Pharaoh if we back the chestnut filly from the district of Monero. She's a trier, she's a flyer, never mock her or decry her. She's 66 to 1, when she wins, we'll all retire. To me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle dee. There was every kind of punter from illiterates to scholars. I pushed into the betting ring and waited twenty dollars. The horses were away from the barrier they thundered, and we hoped that very day to collect the thirteen hundred. 
Give me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle day. We shouted in despair. Then as Kevin tore his hair, old Day began to swear at the filly from Monero. She was struggling in the pack, and our very hearts were bleeding. She was falling further back. The favourite was leading. To me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle day. It seemed the filly heard us, for suddenly she sprinted. She raced around the ruck with a purpose quite unstinted. At the ledger she was third. You should have seen her fly. I got so damned excited that I choked upon me pie. To me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle day. They came into the straight like cavalry invading. The filly was improving and the favourite was fading. Oh, she's won it by a nose. But a protest has been entered. The stewards have upheld it. Curse the day they were invented. To me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle day. We walked back to Clovelly from the blasted Randwick races. With ulcers in our bellies and gloom upon our faces, we cursed the Phillies jockey and we cursed the Randwick stewards. And we drowned our disappointment in a flood of amber fluids. Do me whack, poldy da, poldy diddly idle tea. That's that one. <laughs> Very good. You've asked us that already, and we've told you we're all in our respective homes. Oh, yes, you did tell me that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's on the internet, Dad. Clive. Dad, can you make sure you don't say anything rude about anyone, because we can all hear you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been round everyone twice, apart from Clive oh, yeah. and me. Can, has yeah. Clive got another one for what do, what do we want to do now? Before we go, go to bed. You, should, you should finish, you should finish oh, it off. I was thinking, I'll, I'll finish yeah. it off. I was wondering before, if we can... Be, before you do, what, are you going to send us the recording? <laughs> I don't know how that bit of the technology works, but if I can, I can, I can try. Yeah, I'll see. I don't know where it is. Like and, and Clive, what, I don't know where cloud. it is. <laughs> and, 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 and what are the plans for next time? What are the plans for next time? Um, it's been so good. It's really yeah, it's the been... best thing that's happened for weeks. Yay! Well, nothing has happened for weeks, so it's not surprising, to be perfectly honest. But, um, yeah, uh, anyway, um, I mean, it would be great to do it again. I've really enjoyed it, and it's it's good to see people and hear people, and, and it's, it's not exactly the same as Sharps. And I kind of <laughs> hope, if we are going to do it, I really hope we can get some of the people who are less techno-savvy um, <laughs> to be able to, to engage with it. I tell you what, I will test it out with my dad. Okay. Brilliant. If he can do it... Richard, tell me something new if they're being rude about me. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm your daughter, I'm allowed. Right. Um right. That was great. Thank you all for joining. I was like so nervous. I was like, maybe no, there'll be nobody there. <laughs> Oh, really Thank you for putting it together. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I just, I couldn't bear the thought of everybody just kind of disappearing off into their own houses. The time draws near, my dearest dear, when you and I must part. How little you know of the grief and woe of my poor aching heart. Or what I suffer for your sake, the one I love most dear. I wish that I was going with you, or you were staying here. I wish my breast was made of glass wherein you might behold your name in secret there lies wrote in letters bright as gold oh there your name lies wrote my dear believe me when i say you are the one i'll love the best until my dying Day. 
The blackest crow that ever flew would surely turn to white. If ever I grew false to you, bright day would turn to night. Bright day would turn to night, my dear, the elements will mourn. If ever I go false to you, the raging seas will burn. I've one request to make of you, if I may be so bold, to place a room within your heart my secrets for to hold to place a room within your heart and throw away the key that this vain world might never know how dearly i love thee and when you're on some distant shore think of your absence friend and when the wind blows high and clear a line to me pray send oh when the wind blows high and clear pray send a note to me that i might know by your hand right how time has gone with thee Thank you, Amanda. Nice one. Lovely. I should um, encourage Nick to come next week and play well, his Nick, bird. Nick's been sitting here listening to the whole thing. Nick, come and, come, come and say hello. He's heard the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> say hello. hello. <clears throat> Hi, Nick. I think. Nick. I think he's been trying to read a book, but uh, I'm not sure how successful it's been. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for ringing in. Spread the word. Hopefully we'll see each other oh, I don't soon. know. I think my diary's quite busy. Is it? <laughs> Is it? What's your secret, Kathy? <laughs> anything in the diary for the 31st, Kathy? <laughs> same time, same place, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Great yeah, stuff. With isolation. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Right. Have we finished yet? <laughs> I think we're finished. I'll All speak right. to you later. Right, <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Thank you, Amanda. You're Thank welcome. You. Yeah. Bye. What a bizarre con.